Hi guys, welcome back to EC Plus. My name is Aitor, and today we're here with one of the contestants. Well, one, <laughs> lots of con contestants for Luxembourg. Uh, some contest 2024. One last time. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming to our channel. Hello there. Thank you for having us. How are you feeling uh, about uh, the rehearsals today? So you just finished the rehearsals. Uh, tell us a little bit more about a, a little bit about your stage scene and how do you feel with the sound. Everything. I mean, it's amazing. First of all, we've never been on such a stage before. We've been on big stages, but not with these LED screens and etc. And I mean, like yesterday when we hit the stage for the first time, the real stage, uh, I had this first goosebumps. chorus, yeah, chorus, and then I turned around, and then I had all like the LED screens coming, and I had goosebumps. I nearly <laughs> cried. It was amazing, honestly. Well, nice. So tell us a bit more about your song and how do you write it, and what's the message you want to uh, send to? to the Luxembourg and hopefully to, Eurovis to the Europe and the world. Yeah, Tom, this is your part, I would say. Yeah, so the song is about treason. Uh, it's about emancipation. It's about, as the title suggests, paying close attention to even the mi most minute detail because not everyone wants what's best for you. Yeah, it's not about the devil. Yeah, that's not funny. about the literal devil. Yeah, and it's been uh, written by... Uh, by Alvin, by Bruce. I, I won't say the, 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 the surnames because otherwise they will ha uh, yeah, they yeah, hate me. But <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. Uh, by Alvin, by Bruce, by uh, yeah, Jonas. Uh, Jonas. Jonas, yeah, yes. a lot of great guys who wrote that song. We were not into that uh, songwriting, yeah. but uh, they proposed us a song. We really loved it. From the beginning on, we said, this is what we want. Uh, we, we are writing our album at the moment, and, yeah, and it, it really fits. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. And tell us more about yourself. So, uh, were your group before uh, Eurovision? And uh, also, um, are you ready to go to Eurovision if you, go to, uh, if you win uh, tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tell us more about your journey and also what can we expect in the future, because you say that you're um, preparing a, a new album. Yeah. We are not a, well, we never found it for U U no. Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, we found it like two years ago uh, when Tom and I, when we met. Three, three years ago, yeah. Three years ago already, and we wrote our first songs. Yeah. And we even played in a band together, but not at the same time, but all of us in the same yes. band. Yeah. Crazy. At different times. Yeah. Crazy. So uh, it looks like you've been uh, playing together for a long time. Like the yeah. chemistry is yeah. is really good on the stage. And how do you feel about being one of the contestants? Because the selection has been long, and so many contestants have been like trying to be on it. Um, how do you feel about uh, the chance of representing uh, Luxembourg in their comeback after 30 years? For this moment, it's, it's just honor. incredible. Yeah. I mean, even if we win tomorrow, it's still incredible to be part of it. I mean, there were like 500 uh, artists who wrote things or. We're here in the auditions. Mm -hmm. It was just crazy to be now here, and it, now to feel it now, we really want to win this. We want to be. Yeah. We, we've never f exper well experienced such a family like the SC family like we did before. It's just yeah. amazing to be here. How could you not want to be a part of that? Yeah, know, forever. Yeah. I mean, crazy. like having like having this press conference with you guys is already like so much fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 The promotion and the exposure that you get with uh, Eurovision, it's yeah. already. But a win. also the people are so nice. Thank you. <laughs> no, honestly, you, all of you, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. And um, final question, what would be your reaction if you win tomorrow? And what are your plans for Eurovision? Are you happy with the staging and the song? Or do you consider changing anything for Eurovision? Um, I, I the think reaction. the reaction, uh, I don't know, I can't tell you. Well, honestly. We'll see tomorrow if I it happens. Have, I, have, I, have, I have a good thing. If you really want to see it vote for us, <laughs> and then we will experience <laughs> it. <laughs> True, yeah. Italy. Uh, but I mean, for uh, for staging, etc. I mean, it, it would be bigger because the stage will be bigger. So we need to be more uh, with the song. We have to check. Uh, but a bit hotter, right? Yeah, a little bit. A, a little bit more rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe ask Lalo what he will do after. What will you do if you win? <laughs> if you win uh, for Luxembourg? I will party with my boys. And my and with the girl oh and yeah and we would just I don't know we will be happy and just tell everybody yeah. it would be amazing it will be a, a great night tomorrow night yeah. we'll party yeah. all together yeah. yes but anyway if we win or not I mean all the other contestants became friends yes and we'll celebrate yeah and yeah. to party with them that would be an honor yeah, yeah. again nice yeah. great so thank you so much guys and congratulations for being one of the contestants for the Luxembourg's comeback to Eurovision and before we leave um, if you have a message to our followers in EC Plus that would be great thank you so much if you really want to see power on stage in Malmö, please vote for us. We'll give it it all. And uh, yeah, don't, don't be afraid to sing along because we'll need you. Yeah, we'll need you. You know, guys, le learn tonight the song and probably tomorrow you need to cheer them up and help them. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.